Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and installing the Corsa Sport 3-inch exhaust system with the single side exit similar to your factory option with the polished tip available for the 11 to 14 35 EcoBoost F150. You should be checking this out as you just heard from our sound clips. If you're looking for an exhaust that gives you a nice turbo sound, slightly more aggressive, a better free-flowing airflow and a little bit more volume. Now this guy I'm going to give a soft 3 out of 5 on our loudness meter because at wide open throttle it does get pretty aggressive but it's still pretty tamed at all other aspects of the RPM band. Cruising from red light to red light in daily driving traffic, this guy is just gonna give you, again, nice little turbo sound, making it a little more aggressive, but the volume really is not overwhelming. Expect little to absolutely no drone at highway speeds, and as a matter of fact, you don't really get much exhaust sound inside the cabin at all. It's pretty tamed inside the truck, so you can have a conversation easily, listen to music, and not have to worry about a headache. Now, if you're looking for something with a little bit more volume, there are some other options in the category that are something like five out of five on the loudness meter. There's particularly a sound for everyone's personal preference. Now, one thing a lot of guys like to do with these systems, especially on the EcoBoost here, is swap out your factory resonator pipe for a resonator delete pipe. Corsa offers their own two and a half inch resonator delete pipe that works perfectly with this Corsa Sport or the factory exhaust. So if you're looking to do that and get even more turbo sound, that's a great way to go. Now this guy is going to dump out right behind the passenger side rear tire, similar to your factory exhaust. So if you're looking to keep that OEM style exit, this is a good way to go. So this system is using 304 stainless steel for the entire kit and it's using DB Performance by Corsa clamps and their tip. Now, DB Performance by Corsa is Corsa's truck-focused brand that uses U-bolt clamps instead of Torca clamps and a single-walled slash-cut polished stainless steel tip. Now, a black tip is also available in the category if you're looking to go a little stealthier. I think this blends in with our truck really well, though. Now, the entire kit is going to have top-quality materials, exactly what you'd expect from Corsa or DB Performance by Corsa, to make sure no matter where you are, no matter what climate you're seeing, this is going to hold up in the long run. Now, because it's using top-quality materials and has that premium Corsa name, you can expect the price tag to be right around 650 bucks a little bit closer to the top end of the pricing spectrum. There are more expensive options depending on if you get the dual rear exit or other types of exit styles that incorporate more piping. About 650 is the price tag for this guy and the install is gonna get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. There's no cutting, there's no welding, none of that nonsense involved. That is a particularly easy bolt-on install, but it's a little bit more involved than say a simple cold air intake. Now I'm gonna show you guys every step of the process here. We are using our factory resonator pipe, but if you wanted to pick up the resonator delete pipe, the install is very similar, just includes that one extra step. The whole install is gonna take you about two hours from start to finish. I'll show you guys every step of the process. What do you say we get started? All right, tools used in this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, 14 and 15 millimeter deep sockets. Definitely recommend a 10 millimeter swivel socket, hanger removal tool, WD-40 or something similar, and a pry bar. All right, first things first, we're gonna loosen up the clamp holding our factory muffler pipe to our resonator pipe. Now we don't have to fully remove it, we're just gonna loosen that guy up and then move on. Now grab your 14 millimeter deep socket, and I'm gonna use a ratchet just because there's not a whole lot of room here to fit an impact gun, so let's loosen that up. All right, so next up, we're gonna move on to our hanger bracket here. Now we're gonna remove this guy from the frame, taking off these two 10 millimeter bolts. As you can see, this guy is facing the front of the vehicle, whereas this guy's facing the rear. All of our hangers are facing this way. This guy is gonna prevent us from sliding the rest of them out. So let's take this off the frame. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter swivel socket to get these two bolts off. All right, so we're finding it's making our life a little bit easier if we just unbolt this from the frame as well. So grab that 10 millimeter swivel socket again and take these two bolts off. Now I got my buddy Joe holding the tailpipe. I'm gonna use this pry bar to push this hanger out of the isolator and together we'll take the exhaust off in one piece. Now there is another hanger over by the tailpipe and that's what Joe's gonna help me guide out. All right, so we got our factory exhaust off of our 11 EcoBoost and it's on the ground next to our Corsa Sport three inch option. And I wanna take you through some similarities and differences here, starting with the front of our vehicle. Now the front of the vehicle you'll see connecting to your factory resonator pipe here is a flex tube. 
Now the flex tube has two hanger brackets kind of looking at each other, and there is a slight difference here with the Corsa Sport system. Not that big of a difference, but the hangers are facing in opposite directions, and we'll have to transfer those brackets over. You'll also notice that there's no more flex tube. Now the lack of flex tube here is going to help get you a little bit of a better free-flowing airflow. The flex tube, while it's not a huge airflow restriction, it definitely is going to play a part in slowing down the airflow velocity, which can rob you of some power. So slight difference there, not a huge deal, but worth mentioning. Moving on, you'll see your Corsa muffler here is just a little bit smaller in size or in length than your factory muffler. This guy here is the sport option from Corsa, which is gonna help give you that sound you heard from our sound clip earlier on. This is not gonna use any additional resonators, it's just gonna use your factory resonator unless you go with a Corsa resonator delete pipe, which is sold separately. That'll bolt right up to this side here. Moving on, you'll also see that this entire thing is a mandrel bent 304 stainless steel highest quality materials in the category, exactly what you'd expect from a Corsa system. They're one of the more premium brands in the category. They've been around for years. One of the most trusted options there are. And honestly, they're not sacrificing quality here. The mandrel bends smooth out any kinks, giving you a better airflow as well. You'll see hangers in, you know, sort of the same positions there. So you use your factory positioning on the vehicle. And finally, it's gonna end with your tips. Now the tips are gonna be a huge difference. Your factory tip is a double rolled, not really slash cut, pretty basic polished stainless steel tip. Your new option here actually uses the DB Performance by Corsa tip, which has a single wall slash cut four inch polished stainless steel, also 304 stainless. So that guy looks so much more attractive coming out the rear end of your truck. And if your truck's anything like ours, we have a little bit of chrome flash as far as the trim package. This guy here is just gonna complement that pretty well. Now what we're gonna do for the install is start with the non-flex tube with the two hangers here, but we are gonna have to first transfer those brackets over. So let's do that now. All right, now getting these two brackets off uh, can be pretty difficult depending on how rusty your system is. WD-40 can definitely come in handy. Now I've lubricated these already. So what we're gonna do now is basically just slide these brackets off and transfer them over. So I'm gonna set that aside. go. Now we can put them on a new Corsa system. Now when you transfer these over, just make sure they're facing the exact same way they were coming off of the factory system. So this guy was facing in and this guy this direction. Now we're going to start installing on the vehicle, starting with this pipe. All right, so we're going to take that hanger pipe and slide it into our resonator pipe. Or if you're using the Corsa resonator delete pipe, it's the same install at least. Rotate these brackets up toward the frame, put the factory 10 millimeter bolts back in. All right, so now we're gonna grab that swivel socket again and tighten them down. Switch over to a 14 millimeter deep socket and tighten down the clamp on your resonator pipe. All right, so now you can take your muffler and your U-bolt clamp and you're gonna put that guy over the muffler inlet. Slide this onto your hanger pipe that we just installed. All right, so now we're not gonna tighten this down just yet. The thing about U-bolt clamps is once you tighten them, they're basically crushing the pipe and it doesn't leave a lot of room for adjustment. So we're not gonna tighten this down just yet. Let's move on and then we'll come back to these once we know we're aligned properly. All right, so now our tailpipe is all one piece. It's gonna connect to two hangers, one right behind our rear passenger side tire and one right above the outlet for our muffler. I put another U-bolt clamp on the outlet for the muffler. I'm gonna feed this guy over the axle, slide it into the pipe while simultaneously sliding it into our hanger isolators on the frame. Now, if you need help, you can use a pry bar on the frame to help push these through the isolators. All right, so next we can take our tip and slide that on to the exhaust outlet. Make sure it's aligned properly. You know, make sure that DB logo is straight up. Grab a 14 millimeter socket and tighten it down. 
All right, guys, once you have your tip in place, go back and make sure all of your exhaust is aligned where you want it to be. Make sure you like the exit position, tighten down your U-bolt clamps, and you'll be good to go. So that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Corsa Sport three inch exhaust system with the single side exit and polished tip available for the 11 to 14 35 EcoBoost F-150. Now, if you're looking to get a three out of five on our loudness meter exhaust system with the single side exit, similar to your factory unit with top quality materials, this is a great way to go. Get yours right here at americantrucks.com.